part of my gym, yeah, part of my life. Part of my gym, yeah, part of my life. Part of my gym, yeah, part of my life. Part of my gym, yeah, part of my life. You ain't touch money, you don't know about rats. You ain't in the field, you ain't get no packs. You ain't slime, you ain't slack. She said she's mine, that bitch. What's up, everybody? Um, right now, I'm in this ER. Um, like I rushed to the hospital. I was having heavy chest pains and the lift. I was um, in the lift coming, going to the house and uh, I passed out. Yeah, so ambulance put me here. Y'all just, y'all just say a prayer for me. Um, you know, I'm a fighter, I'm a survivor. I'm not saying this is the last time. But you never know, this may be the last time I can even say something to you. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking positive. I believe in healing. And I believe that God is a healer. But um, it's really hard right now. I'm in so much pain right now. As you can see, like, they got me hooked up to all these machines and EKGs and all types of stuff. Like, it's hard right now. But, like, yeah, just keep me in prayer. And I'm going to keep y'all updated as to everything that's going on. All right? Love y'all. And um, just pray for me that I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. All right? Shake back. I was good, everybody. Hope y'all have hope. Everybody's good. Hope everybody's feeling blessed today. All right? So I wanted to give y'all an update of what's going on with me. Um, I've been here since last night. It's been already... It's been almost 24 hours, but they said they're gonna um, they said they're gonna keep me in for another 24 to 48 hours. So um, what was happening? I was having like like I told y'all, I was having heavy chest pains. I was in an Uber and Lyft. Thank God I got to the hospital one time. Um, they did CT exams, X-rays. I don't have COVID. My heart is cool. My vitals is cool, but. They did find a lot of inflammation and fluid in my lungs. And part of that can come from allergies, being outside, breathing in certain things. So I'm just learning about that. They gave me a bunch of like steroids and anti-inflammatory um, um, type medicine just to kind of break out the inflammation around my lungs because that's what has been causing my oxygen to be very low. So, you know. They move me into another room, and um, they're gonna take me upstairs into, a, I guess, another room. I'm still like in the ER department, but they're gonna take me upstairs um, and for observation for another day based upon what was on the results. So, just filling y'all in, just letting y'all know. Keep me in y'all prayers. Your boy Keys is good. Your boy Keys is gonna be okay. I'm not gonna tr let the devil try to defeat me. I'm going forward. All right, y'all. What's good, y'all? So they just admitted me to my room. Um, like I said, they making me stay like another 24 to 48 hours. I should be out of here tomorrow, though. Feeling much better. You know, I still feel some tightnesses in my chest, but I just wanted to show y'all this room. This room, this hospital was nice. I've never seen a room like this. Like, okay, you get the chair. Look at the bed, look at the couch, the view. I don't know about the view. I ain't too worried about the view. But this, get a whole full private bathroom to yourself. This is very thoughtful. They give you like washcloths, towels. You get your own shower. I definitely don't need that. So I'll be taking that out of here. I don't need that. Get your own little, wipe your little booty. You feel me? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I've 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 been to worse. I've been to worse hospitals, and I'm quite sure y'all could attest. Quite sure y'all could attest to that. Like these hospitals be hit or miss. Now the room may be nice, but the food is horrible. So I'm trying to Uber eat. But this is interesting. Uh -huh. This is on the ceiling. Stop. Don't get out of bed. Call for staff assistance. That's if you can't move, if you're down, and you know what I mean? Like, 
So I get that. That's that's cool. This is very thoughtful. Let's see what else. They got a VCR in a DVD player. Wow. And I guess this is the room number. So they, I wonder if they got Netflix in there. Let me see. They got Netflix. If they got Netflix, oh, they got a closet. So I guess it's for people that want to stay long term. Let's see if they got Netflix. If they got Netflix. Listen, if they got Netflix, this hospital gets the five-star award. So I know that this hospital, Michael Jordan, is he has his hands in his Novant. So Michael Jordan, big up to Michael Jordan um, for just investing in these hospitals. Like these hospitals are really nice and the staff has been great. There has not been no BS. Like I said, I've been to worse hospitals where they don't even treat you right. They're just ready to just ship you out and get you out no matter how you feel. You know what I mean? They not worry about you getting better. They not worry about you feeling better. They like, I just hit, take some pills get the hell up out of here and if you die at home then it's not on us but they care you feel what i'm saying so shout out to Novant hospital in charlotte north carolina all right so i'm trying to see if they got netflix y'all i think they got no netflix let's see what they got so okay no signal tv let's see where the tv here satellite maybe how you doing oh this could be Challenging with no TV. Oh, there we go. Family Feud. I don't think they got Netflix, but hey, look. You know what I mean? Like, thank God I got my private room. Thank God I got, you know, it's this little cozy space. I ain't got to share with nobody, you know? It could be worse. But thank y'all for y'all prayers. Thank y'all for praying for me. Thank y'all for the support. And I'm going to be out of here real soon, y'all. Real soon, all right? So, what's up? Good morning, good morning. It's the next day, y'all. It's the next day. As y'all can see, I'm in my new drip. <laughs> the, I don't know what to call this. It's saying Versace. This is Hibachi wear, you feel me? Um, but I feel a lot better. Just spoke to the doctor. And guess what, y'all? I'm going home today. Thank you, Lord. I'm going home today. I'm going home. They're getting all of this IV and these things off my chest and I feel like I feel like Frankenstein right now but I got the good news that I'm going home and um again I thank you for your prayers I thank you for your support just thank you for the encouragement everybody that's been sending me messages everybody that's been sending me words of encouragement like I love y'all for that all right and never y'all never cease to amaze me you know what I mean never cease and um so I'll let y'all know the report from here and, and and what's going on afterwards. And let's do this, y'all. Cause I owe this to y'all. And I know y'all been like keys, you been MIA, you been MIA. And I know sometimes I separate myself from from things and people in order to get shit done. You feel what I'm saying? Like cause that's what life is about. And that's how I know how to progress and progress. Um, to make a difference, just to get things done, you know. Sometimes it doesn't consciously hit me to like, all right, cool, pick up your camera and record every day, record every day, record every day, record every day. Um, because I'll be like, it's just so many hats that I wear. So, but I feel, I feel like I realize what I have to do. I'm, I may have to get a camera man, y'all. I might have to get a camera guy to just keep the camera on me because that's the only way y'all gonna get, you know what I mean? Like, that's the only way that's gonna consciously make me. Just do the record content every day, no matter what. Just vlog every day. Like I said, I'm not cooking every day, but there's other things that's going on that's amazing, amazing. I'm, he's not stressed. I'm not stressed at all. So don't think that my disappearance is like, oh, he's going through shit. So he's going through something else. I'm stressed. No, I'm not stressed. I'm blessed, y'all. I'm blessed. All right. So again, love y'all, and I'm gonna keep y'all tuned in. All right, but. And those of y'all out here suffering bad allergies, asthma, respiratory issues, I'm praying for y'all. Take it easy. Be careful in this season. Be careful in this season. Take care of your body. Take care of your lungs. Take care of your health. All right?
So yeah, make sure you take care of yourself because that's so important, y'all. That's so important. Like we can go every day and not consciously think about the air we breathe, the food we eating, the things that we're doing, the people that are surrounding us, the energy, the everything, y'all. Everything. Everything. But yeah, um, love y'all. And y'all have a blessed day, a blessed weekend. And I'll be back with y'all with an update as soon as I leave. All right? Till next time.